Something happened to me last year where I was I was in an interview and during that interview as I was saying something uh, the the lady interviewing me just said to me oh I know that I know that I already I already saw that now I was quite like really really it's because the world is changing this is even before the COVID-19 because your social media is very essential and position yourself to be able to get the job that you want in the future and securing yourself for the future in terms of job and setting yourself apart. I think your social media will play a greater role. Moving forward, we need to be very much careful. Now in today's review, I will be discussing about how you can leverage, how you can use your LinkedIn and all your social media to be able to take advantage and also to position yourself for that job that you actually desire. All right guys, if you want to listen to my tips today, eat me on the other side of the intro. Hello guys, hello guys, welcome back to this channel. If this is your first time on this channel, uh, please subscribe. Um, this channel is all about photography and video, it's all about business education, and it's all about tech. Now, just to introduce myself, my name again is Adeko Uh Basically, I'm the, co I'm the founder of uh, Goku Photography and Video, uh, but also I'm also a coach and mentor on the apprenticeship program. I help people to gain qualifications in the area of digital marketing, in the area of data analytics, and in the area of business analysis. And today, because of what's happening globally, we are still focusing, which is gonna be part two of what I reviewed last week. So today I'm concentrating on our social media, and specifically on LinkedIn. So let me just give you some few starts about LinkedIn, first of all right so first of all um, LinkedIn has about 615 million people 6 million active users on LinkedIn about 57 percent of that you know is male and about 53 is female right you gonna you are having about 57 um, traffic through mobile phone which is very very important as well and i'll give you some stats as well in terms based on country to country for instance in america you have about 167 million people 67 million active users in america in canada it's about 13 million in uk in the whole of europe it's about 206 million uh, uk lead line by 17 million then you have france 15 million and the rest of them all in africa you have nigeria having about 4 million you have south africa having 7 million there about you have over 13 million companies on linkedin linkedin is a powerhouse is a social media where everyone should be and today we are just concentrating on linkedin now as i'll be concentrating on linkedin today i also link these two other social media and some of the tips i want to share today i will start off by saying first of all right guys you will need to think about the industry you're present, presently working in right now guys a few years ago when i finished when i graduated for um uh, when i did my uh, finished my phd and i graduated uh be, prior to that i've worked in uh, the catering, I've, worked, I've been a chef for about seven years, and within those years, uh, I've also worked uh, uh, with uh, companies, tech companies online for about a year or two. Just, you know, this is an online platform whereby you learn and you work on real um, uh, product and, you know, setting up, going through data transformation, doing some di uh, data marketing. Um, and so I did a lot, learned a lot through, I collaborated through uh, with my colleagues. We, we, you know, we talk about building business strategy, doing business setup. So I used that opportunity to kind of put all this experience in my CV. And what I did after that was 
setting up my CV, you know, doing up my CV. Now, I actually set up my CV in a wrong way. So I was discovering that I wasn't getting jobs. I applied so many. In fact, there was a point in time I applied. I was thinking like, I've applied for like 50 jobs. I wasn't getting jobs until I met two ladies who are HR and they gave me some kind of secret. And I want to kind of remind you guys that algorithm is very important. Keywords are very key to you securing that job. Now, this lady explained to me that number one, right? The keyword is very important. Now, they said, she gave me an example that there was a job they put out and about 5,000 people applied for that job. It was one rule. And eventually they get to review just 200 people's CV. Why? Because the computer would not even allow them to review the remaining 4,000 plus. Why? Because those people did not put the keywords that they were looking for. And the computer obviously is being programmed to pick up those keywords first and pick up those CV. So all those CVs were thrown in, into the trash, right? And they will send you this automated message to say, oh, sorry, unfortunately, you're not able to. These are all automated emails that have been set up for you guys. So please, first of all, read the job specification and make sure you tailor your CV. Before, I just use the same CV to apply for the same role, but in different places, all about, all about, all about. Just, that's what I used to do. But from that day onward, I changed my whole perspective. I kind of structure my CV to each job. And I think that is very important. Now, that is the first tip I want to talk to you about by cleaning up your CV. Make sure that you're not too lazy to update your CV at every given point. For every single time you have a job publication, you need to kind of remember the keywords and input those keywords into your uh, into that specific um, CV for that job, right? So the second tip we want to talk about today is very being careful on social media, right? I know we all want to share different stuff, want to post that picture, want to make that controversial statement, want to comment on somebody's uh, platform and say anything that we want to say because we all got a voice, right? Uh, but listen, guys, one thing is very important that why doing that you need to be very careful. So when I was on this interview, remember, guys, earlier on in my in my introduction, I did mention one thing. I said I was in this interview and a lady who was interviewing me said, "Oh, I know that." That was an interview interview that I will tell you guys was changed my hope. Uh, my, my turn my whole uh, life around and change the whole perspective of job for me because during that interview, like I said, they allow me to pick my salary. Like I determine how much I get. That hasn't happened to me before, right? And for an organization to say, we want you. They want you. They really want me because I was working for somebody else at that point, another organization as a mentor, as a coach. But because of the way I came across, you know, I presented myself very well, but also they've been to my social media. I was so surprised. The HR has been to my LinkedIn, has been to my Facebook, has been to my Twitter, right? Those people have been on there, right? These going forward, guys, you need, if you need to spend some time to clean up your social media, I think you guys need to spend that time to start cleaning it up right now, right? They have over 30 million companies on LinkedIn. Think about it. That is where some of you will say, well, I've never gotten a job through LinkedIn, right? But you might say that, but going forward, the way everything is right now, jobs, in fact, interviews have been done online, you know, uh, dissertation and, you know, interviews and things, everything is going online right now. And right now you have to think about that, your social media. It's very important that you think about your social media. And if you need to clean it up, please do clean it up. Now, Quickly, if you guys know Dr. Martins is all my, I want us to look at the, Dr. Martins profile quickly. And you can see how Dr. Martins has set up his own profile. I'm using Dr. Martins because he's a public figure and I'm just using him as an example. And he's done a fantastic job by setting up his profile in a very good way. As so you guys can see on my screen, as so you guys will come along with me on my screen right now and let's look at this together, right? So this is Dr. Martins, looking at Dr. Martins, uh, profile right you guys can see that from his profile you know you can quickly see what he does is aiming for positive impact and building ventures with purpose he's already you know giving that kind of title to himself of what he does and things like that right and the second thing that you can see quickly is some of his skills the skills are very important you can see the data marketing right uh, a business strategy, you can see continuous improvement and you can see a sales management. These are the area that you focus on, right? And you can see, and this is one thing you guys have to realize, your LinkedIn has to be clear 
has to be clear. Anybody coming on LinkedIn has to understand what this guy is all about, what this lady is all about, what are you all about, what do you do, what do you specialize in. It has to be clear. If you do different things, like I do photography, uh, video, and also I, you know, I'm a coach and I'm a mentor, I have to create two separate LinkedIn. You cannot be using one LinkedIn for photography and video and also be using it for coaching. Right, guys? So you need to take your time and kind of, you know, build your profile and make sure that this is a class. And look at this about, in his about, he was able to talk about, you know, things that, you know, is all about. You, you need to be able to put your uh, about in such a way that people will, looking at it, will understand, you know, this is all, this is what you're all about, you know. And he put some keyword in there, you know, how, you know, he's able in his experience of, he has worked with big company, you know, in different location, you know, he's got ideas and things like that. You know, you could see he's putting keywords there, right? You can say activities, and I also say this about activities. If you have get, gotten a, an award before, why don't you tag yourself, take a picture, put the award there, or put your award on LinkedIn, or do different of these things. These things are very important. You went, you, you went, you are on, on a conference that's very relevant to your roles. Just put, you can take a picture in while in that conference and share your opinion. Comment on people, other people's profile. When you see something happen, comment. Don't be dormant. You know, you have to be active. You, you have, don't let somebody go on your LinkedIn like, you know, they're looking for, they're looking for, oh, this person. And the last time you posted something was about two years ago, three years ago, right? You need to be constantly active. You know, I try to write a blog sometimes, write my story, something, give some tips on my own LinkedIn and do all those things, right? Um, the next thing you can say is experience. He talks about his experience here. During his experience, you can see every, thin side by side he was able to articulate and write about what he's been able to achieve in at each step in of his experience and that is very very vital also you know being able to talk about each what you've done in each organization's projects you've worked upon you know okay i work in this organization what did i achieve there i was able to achieve a b c d i think that is very very vital as well i mean looking at this profile i think this is a very good profile well set up right well set up and the last thing was his education it talks about his education where you went to universities and the rest of them you know which is also very very important right guys guys moving forward it is very essential that you look into your social media be careful what you write on, 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 on Facebook. And I'm not saying don't be yourself. You can still be yourself, but just be careful. I've seen so many people lose their job. Someone was recently appointed as the, I think, as something on Russia group and all of that. The person has to apologize for a comment he made on some certain group of people. In another situation, I heard of something that happened to someone else, right? And the same thing affects the same people, right? Guys, we have to realize that we have to be careful. LinkedIn is very important update your LinkedIn today. Guys, that's my review today. And until next time, you know, keep safe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye.